Hello everybody, it's Josie here. I'm going to be doing a kind of a standalone review today for one particular book, which is this book over here, Proud. And this is a collection of short stories. Um, there's a couple of poems in here and there's also some really lovely art to go with the stories. And it's edited by Juno Dawson. Um, I have read a number of Juno Dawson books. Uh, I always enjoy her writing. Um, it's, it's just great kind of YA, but it also tends to have quite deeper themes. Um, Juno Dawson is a transgender woman. Um, so a lot of her literature also includes queer themes um, and themes about identity and uh, coming of age and becoming who you are, which I really love. And this um, anthology collection, so I've had this for a while. Um, I wanted to wait to read it until this month, until August, because uh, August is Pride Month in Brighton. So we've literally just had Brighton Pride, which was amazing. And uh, I am still trying to recover from it. Um, but <laughs> I thought this was like the perfect time to read a book that is quite literally entitled Proud. And it's stories, poetry and art on the theme of Pride. Um, so there are a number of uh, authors actually in here that I have read before. So ones that Im immediately jumped out to me were Maura, Maura Fowley Doyle, who um, read uh, Spellbook, uh, who not read, who wrote Spellbook of the Lost and Found, which I love, love, love. It's up there over there. Um, one of my favourite kind of witchy, um, queer witchy books. Uh, there's also um, Tanya Bryan, uh, Jess Valance is in here, and then there's some incredible artists. So within, with the short story collections, um, there's always this thing where I always find that I might like one or two of the stories and then the rest of them I don't really care for. So I've had a really kind of a hit and miss uh, relationship with a lot of short story collections. This one, I am really happy to say, uh, I kind of liked, I liked all of the stories and then there were quite a few that I really loved and also some of the artwork. So as you can see, I've tabbed it up. So some of the, um, so what I've done is I've gone through and I've actually put little posters on each one saying what I thought of it and how many stars I gave it. I would say overall for this collection, four stars, um, j just because I loved it, maybe even 4.5, but there were some real standards. So I am going to show you, well, take you through the ones that I really loved. So the first one that was really interesting is this one. It's called As the Philadelphia Queer uh, Youth Choir Sings Katy Perry's Firework, which was an uh, interesting title. But what this is, it reminded me of The Poet X, which I've actually just read, because it kind of it's kind of written almost in verse. So I thought that was really interesting and you just get these kind of fragments of consciousness almost of people um, having these different experience, different thoughts in their head. And obviously it being uh, Celebration Pride, it's all um, queer uh, YA and, and queer relationships. Um, there's another story in here that is adorable um, about penguins. So penguins at the zoo and um, a boy coming out and uh, the fact that there are two penguins at the zoo in his town that have been identified as like the queer penguins, which is really sweet. Uh, one of the stories that I adored is this one over here. It's The Phoenix's Fault. Um, this this is by Cynthia So and it so reminded me of um, uh, Girls of Paper and Fire. Um, it's kind of that sort of fairy tale element. There's phoenixes involved. Um, there is a girl who uh, she has to go and see like the, the the king or the emperor, the ruler of this this kingdom, um, and she might need to marry him, and she doesn't want to because she's in love with her friend who is a girl. Um, so it really reminded me of that, and that was one I really really loved. Um, then let's see what else have I started. Oh, I hate Darcy Pembley. Now this is a great one. This is by um, Karen Lawler, and this one reminded me, uh, well not reminded me, but this is very much a hate to love um, story, which is a lot of fun. And also on this one, it has some really, really lovely artwork. What I loved about these as well is, although obviously they were short, they're short stories, they really did give you a proper slice of, isn't that artwork cool? A proper kind of slice of the story, you, you got a story, it wasn't just sort of a little bit of nothing, you actually got a decent story moving forward. Um, this one is, oh, this one, okay. So Almost Certain uh, by Tanya Bryan. Now this one is, first of all, it's set in Brighton. Hello. Um, which was so cool, like I started reading it and I went, oh wait, I know that place. And then realized that it was 
the whole story was set in Brighton. Um, and it's set around music as well, around the music scene. Um, and it is, it's just, it, this is a really beautiful story. It's quite sad actually. Um, but I loved the fact that it was music, it was Brighton. Um, the protagonist has anxiety attacks, so there's some rep for that as well. I just thought this was a, a really, really, really great story. I really like that one. That was one of my five star ones. And then another one, I've got them all starred. Um, this is gorgeous. I, I mentioned uh, Maura, Maura Fowley Doyle, um, and I was kind of expecting it to be good, but this one, Love Poems to the City, um, it's, it, it's lovely. It, it actually focuses on, so the story focuses on the um, vote in Ireland for marriage equality, so that happened not that long ago. Um, Ireland got to vote on whether they um, would recognise uh, queer gay and lesbian marriages, um, and that went through overwhelmingly. Um, so it's, it's kind of focused around that vote and what's happening and I really love the love interest in this one so that was very very much one of my uh favorites and then I also think that that is a gorgeous drawing look at that um but this is just beautiful so um it starts off with a poem like I said you get these gorgeous drawings oh this is the one with the penguins look at that um if you if you just want to read something that will just make your heart swell um as a as a queer person um just to read an anthology that's just focused around pride stories with these wonderful authors with some great artwork um and you might find somebody new that you you maybe hadn't um you've read before which this is what i love about short stories and anthologies um my copy is signed which i love by juno who is fantastic um i just highly 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 recommend this book um it is so great it is I'm so glad that this like, exists, that we have this, um, and I loved reading it, and yeah, it's just great. It is a rainbow in a book, so um, yeah, read it. <laughs> so that's my review. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will speak to you all again soon. Let me know if you read it. I actually read, Buddy read this uh, with Moonbook, who's one of our amazing subscribers, and um, yeah, it's just, I think we both really, really love this book, so um, highly recommend. Let me know if you've read it, let me know what you think. Let me know what your favourite stories are as well, or favourite story in the, in the anthology, I'd love to know. Um, and I'll speak to you all again very soon. Bye-bye.